In this video, we will learn about the concept uh, factor cost, basic price, market price. Okay, so let's take the factor cost first. By factor cost, what we mean? Factor cost is the cost on the factors of production. And what are the factors of production? Simply to produce anything, we need land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Okay, so let me give an example. Let us say we have this. We want to produce, you know, electric vehicle like the Tesla motors. Okay. Now, to produce this electric vehicle, let us say, uh, you know, first we need the land where we will set up the factory. Also, we will use uh, labors, okay, in, uh, in the process of making this electric vehicle. Also, we need capital, okay, for manufacturer, uh, for manufacturing this electric vehicle and also the entrepreneurship which uh, took the whole process, you know, the risk of making this electric vehicle, okay. So, we will have four things. To make this electric vehicle now when we use land so we have to pay rent for the land obviously we employ labor so labor will receive wages in return for uh, the factor also if we employ the capital so capital will earn interest okay and the entrepreneurship will earn the profit then the factor cost of any product is actually equal to the cost on rent plus wage plus interest plus profit simple thing so the this is let us say this is the factor cost now what is the basic price basic price is actually the factor cost okay plus production tax minus production subsidy what is meant by production tax we, simple thing production tax or subsidy is paid or received with relationship to the production okay it is independent of volume of actual production okay so production uh, tax is actually the tax on the process of production okay so let me write it here so production production tax is on the process okay on the process of production simple thing let us say you want to set up this factory for manufacturing this electric vehicle okay so uh, for that obviously you will need the license okay you will uh, have to pay the registration fees let us say for the sake of simplicity you will also uh, other uh, kind of you know profession taxes these are all called the production tax they are independent independent on volume of volume of actual production actual production okay so by production tax we mean the tax on the process of production not on the volume of production okay that means uh, you know to uh, you want to set up uh, this kind of factory you need to go for the license uh, you know registration fees okay well also in other cases we can think of the production tax as the, the you know production tax uh, some kind of land revenue you know or stamp duty uh, the cost on that very will be uh, you know the production tax okay and similarly the production subsidy uh, is also being uh, you know given let us say uh, this person was uh, we were um, trying to make the electric vehicle okay let's say uh, government thinks okay it's very nice stuff uh, the air pollution will get reduced so let's give uh, this very uh, you know firm the subsidy okay so uh, our basic price is actually equal to then production tax minus production subsidy what this producer receives okay now what about the market price market price is simply equal to this basic price okay so basic price plus product tax minus product subsidy okay now we have seen product production tax let us see what is meant by product tax okay so there is a very much difference between production tax and product uh, tax okay so this product tax is you know tax on per unit tax on per unit of per unit of production okay so it depends upon okay it depends upon 
it is dependent on the volume of volume of you know production so product tax is you know tax on per unit production uh, per unit tax on per unit of production okay if you produce one vehicle okay so if we increase the uh, you know production of electric vehicles our product product tax will obviously increase okay so it depends upon how many units of a product do you produce so obviously this will change product tax okay the revenue from the uh, uh, you know product tax will change so it depends upon the volume of product uh, you know volume of production so if you produce zero units of uh, you know electric vehicle so uh, your product tax will be obviously zero you are but uh, the production tax will be there okay so it is uh, the tax on the process okay so uh, to set up the industry you pay the registration fees license you have to incur that very cost that's why we are called it is the tax on the process of production and product tax is the tax on the per unit of uh, production okay so this production tax is independent of the volume of actual produ uh, production whether you produce anything or not production um, tax is independent okay but product, product tax is dependent upon the volume of production you produce one electric vehicle two zero so your product tax okay will change and what about uh, the product subsidy obviously uh, government at times i will try to give subsidy uh, to you know are to the consumers so we have to subtract this very subsidy that means the product subsidy product subsidy is also on the per unit okay so market price is equal to basic price plus product tax minus product subsidy i hope i make uh, myself clear let us uh, see um, another angle if i add up these uh, things let us say mp is the market price our market price will be equal to the factor cost obviously i have told you market price will be equal to factor cost plus product to tax product tax okay sorry product tax it's production production tax plus product tax product tax okay minus production subsidy plus product subsidy product subsidy okay so our market price will be equal to the factor cost plus production tax plus product tax minus a production subsidy minus product subsidy obviously then our factor cost will be equal to we call this setup okay when we subtract uh, you know total subsidy from total uh, you know tax we call it net indirect tax that means our market price will be equal to factor cost plus net indirect indirect taxes okay so net indirect tax is equal to you know net indirect tax is equal to this very stuff so let's denote it by this very stuff by let us say p or let us denote it by t that means a production plus product tax uh, minus the total subsidy on production plus product okay so net indirect tax is actually the difference between the total subsidy sorry the difference between total uh, tax and total subsidy okay so market price is equal to factor cost plus net indirect tax okay so this was for a simple form when you aggregate all this stuff in an economy you will get uh, you know what we call the gdp gdp at factor cost okay similarly you have gdp at market price and obviously gdp gdp at basic price okay 
So the uh, important thing is the difference between uh, production tax and product tax. Production tax is actually the tax on the process of production. Okay. And product tax is the tax on per unit output of production. Production tax is independent on the volume of actual production. But product uh, tax is dependent on, you know, the volume of production. Okay. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you. For more videos on mathematical economics, please subscribe this channel, like, comment and share also. Thank you.